Something New Zealand is justifiably proud of is our feeder series, D1 Pro-Am. It's been going for about four years now. Our future stars for New Zealand drifting. One guy that's definitely shining out this season, just under Matt Lauder, is Darren Kelly in the DKM Fabrication R32. Let's catch up with him, see what he had to say. Hey guys, I'm Darren Kelly. I drive the DKM R32 Skyline and D1 Pro-Am. I'm really stoked with the way the DKM 32 has been going this season. It's been real reliable. We spent the money and done a forge motor and Jericho gearbox, so it's been definitely handling the abuse that we've been giving it, and um, hopefully it continues to do that for the rest of the season. I've been into cars for uh, as long as I can remember, and I got into drifting about uh, six years ago and started to build my car up and got into track drifting. Upcoming season of D1 was coming up, so entered a couple rounds last season and then went all out in the off season and got my car ready, so it was up to a good competitive level. Bit of bad luck at round one with um, blowing a turbo, but yeah, Fungro was good. Um, first of the concrete tracks this season and definitely a good one. Like It was new to everybody, so good even playing field. Yeah, got a good line from the start and managed to take out first place. Both drivers stepping right up for this, their final drive of the weekend. Look at both of them, they're not leaving anything in the tank. Whoever takes this out is going to thoroughly deserve the Toll Trophy for round two. That's right, Warren, some amazing driving from these two drivers and in the end, Darren Kelly will be on top of the podium with the DKM Fabrication R32. Coming into Tauranga I was a bit more confident with the concrete barriers and um, it was a lot faster and everything, but you sort of struggle a little bit and then get the line right, speed and everything just came together. Thorley and Kelly would go to war first. Michael Thorley, he's a good driver, it was a good battle. Got some couple of hearing moments, but it was real good. Stars of the D1 Pro-Am feeder series. We call it the feeder series because it's been set up to develop these drivers. They learn how to chase, they learn how to battle, they learn that race craft that our D1 NZ pros have. You see here, Darren Kelly looking real strong, hoping for another win after winning Wangaray. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I came up against Jody Verhals the, um, for the second time in Tauranga for the um, top two. Yeah, she's a good driver and a good battle. This is round three of six, so they are after those points. A big fact for Jody, but a big gap for Darren. Yeah, one of the important things to remember is that Darren Kelly didn't actually get any points at all the first round after suffering that turbo failure. So he has to just about win every round to be in with any shot of grabbing his development series title. You see there that Darren Kelly's managed to power away from Jody. That's going to hand him a complete advantage for him. Darren Kelly for DKM Fabrication grabs first place and valuable points in the championship lead. Yeah, at Hampton Downs we had a couple of problems with the car but sorted it out. Got into the top four and Saturday during practice we had a little collision with Jeff Mugridge so um, it broke a couple of things in the front suspension and um, we managed to get it fixed and back out for the top four battles. Jacob Akariah, unfortunately he had an um, intercooler pipe let go, so he was couldn't fix it in the five minutes. By the time I could take, like I tried to take my five minutes and it was, it was too late, so it was a disqualification. It's, um, it's not the way I wanted to win the battle. Definitely Matt Lauder, Jody Verhulst, um, Jacob Akariah, uh, Michael Thorley, they're all good drivers, they're always up there in the top four, top eight. So definitely be watching them. Um, been really privileged to have the amount of sponsors come on board this season. Okay, we got DKM Fabrication, uh, Epic Eyewear, RCS, Filthy Web Development, JP Tires, GDS Automotive, Luxury Sports. So this is where the championship fight really heats up. It's round five of six. These are crucial championship points coming down to Powerbolt Tools Raceway. That's the one place to be Easter Sunday, the final round of BP Triple Crown. Who's going to take a year's worth of gas from BP Ultimate 98? We've seen two of the top contenders in both D1 Pro-Am and D1 NZ Pro be there. 
Easter Sunday, March the 31st.